it's time to turn up the nostalgia test drive unlimited series is finally returning with test drive unlimited solar crown this game has been on the radar of many many racing fans for what feels like many many years and a few weeks ago we finally got confirmation of a release date in a game that felt like it would never ever actually release to make the release date confirmation even better though, for the last few weeks there has been a free demo to try out over on Steam for PC players. And well, I've put a ton of hours into this demo, trying out absolutely everything I realistically could. It was a nice big portion of what seems like a very vast and expansive game. And well, today I'm going to bring you five things I absolutely love about Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. key feature of any test driver unlimited game is absolutely the look and feel of the game there's a very specific way look and feel to every single game that has entered into this franchise whether that was test drive unlimited one way back when tdu2 or now test drive unlimited solar crown which i can thankfully report absolutely feels like a test drive unlimited game everything from the car dealerships whether you're sitting in the cars customizing the cars to your liking walking around these buildings full of npcs there is that typical test drive unlimited feel everywhere you go no matter whether it's the dealerships hotels locations clan places Everything is there and everything absolutely feels the way it should in a test drive game. The absolute essence of this series is really, really captured here and it's a key component to what makes TDU, TDU. So yes, that does mean very outdated features such as the quite janky character animations and character models are still absolutely there, but for me it's just a very iconic look and style for the Test Drive Unlimited series. It's always been this way and I'm actually quite glad to see it return. There's a lot of other more modern open world racing games that really tried to capture the spirit of what Test Drive Unlimited did very much after Test Drive Unlimited was seemingly dead but for me it's back with a bang and very much carries over that spirit of test drive unlimited you can pretty much do everything here again just like you could prior whether that's character clothing character looks in terms of the cars and the car dealerships you can go ahead and play around with the car whilst it's sort of sat there in the dealer now in terms of car customization it, again it feels very much something that's been kind of unaltered from the past test drive unlimited has always been about making that car that you're purchasing from the dealership very much feel like your own it's all about making the perfect car from the dealer almost like buying a brand new car and customizing your configuration online that's very much how it has always felt in test drive unlimited and that is very much still here whilst the customization isn't as deep as some more modern open world racing games that we've seen over the years it did seem fairly fantastic everything such as wheels paints and even your interior can be customized to your liking so overall the original test drive unlimited feel absolutely still remains here in 2024. Next up absolutely for me has to be the location and the map used in this game. They reckon this is a one-to-one -one recreation of Hong Kong itself and I'm happy to report that it really is such a beautiful vast and varied map in what is a pretty unique location. Not really since the days of Sleeping Dogs have I got this very particular vibe from a map. Overall, it's fantastic, it's vast, it's varied, and no matter whether you're driving through the streets of Hong Kong at night with the neon lighting absolutely everywhere blinding you as you pass through at 150 mile an hour plus, or driving on the more scenic rural back roads, there is something for everyone here. And it's absolutely littered with things to do. Whether you're doing normal races, time trials, domination races, 
clan races, collecting collectibles such as Rex or more XP and money, there is something that is going to keep you wanting to drive around this map. In fact, for many, many periods of my time with this demo, I found myself just jumping in a car and wanting to explore what's on offer here. And whilst it was a little bit limited, not all of the districts were available for us to drive around and take a look at, what was on offer here was absolutely fantastic. Again, depending on where you're going to be on the map, there's definitely going to be more or less life about. If you're driving around the hills, you can expect to see almost nothing, especially at night. However, if you're driving through the neon lit cities, no matter whether it's day or night, there's absolutely going to be plenty to see or do and plenty of life about and on the move at all times. So I am absolutely happy to report that the location and map is definitely a change up from what we do typically see in open world racing games however i just couldn't help the niggling feeling in the back of my mind that honestly will i love hong kong as much as i did both hawaii and ibiza from tdu1 and tdu2 respectively i guess only time can tell with those ones as nostalgia may just be taking over when it comes to those locations but the memories i made at those places i'm hoping can come along as well with solar crown Overall, this is a fantastic map and a very, very unique location. I'm liking it so far. And as mentioned, if you're like me, you like to collect things, discover new locations, well, this one is absolutely jam-packed and crammed full of things for you to find and do. The clan system in this game is much more in depth than I expected. There was both the street clan and the sharp clan which both have their own look and style to this game and this will open up as you progress through the standard game fairly early on in which you will then have the decision to join one of these. Sharps being very suave and very sophisticated, more of your luxury vehicle clan and street while well, being very much based in the streets with their own look and style. Both of their HQs very much giving you a look and feel into what each clan really is. So to actually get yourself into one of these clans you will need to take on the recruiter in a head to head race to prove your worth to join that clan. Now do note that you can go ahead and swap between them if you really do so wish. So if you're fed up with the whole luxury and upper class style you can of course then go and transfer yourself over to the streets. Now I didn't actually do this in the demo so I'm unsure if your reputation with them is completely lost once you swap over but I'm assuming not. So you can swap on the fly if you get fed up with one and want to then represent an other. Now in terms of the whole system once you're part of a clan this will unlock the VIP area for your chosen HQ. As you can see, I'm part of the street clan, I'm in the HQ now, and it does open up a VIP area, which features a few characters that you can seem to take on head to head, depending on your clan reputation. This is something that will level up alongside your main level. This is a very, very cool feature. It's a very, very deep and interactive feature as well. This also opens up the possibility of a bunch of special races for your chosen clan, and there does seem to be a plentiful amount of them. So in terms of the special events that unlock for your chosen clan once you've been recruited, these see you going head to head as a team. So half the grid is of the other clan, and half the grid is of your clan, obviously in a sort of team battle and overall winner battle so more most points takes the most reputation again this is another way to earn reputation for your chosen clan by actually driving for them and proving that they're better than the opposite you'll also unlock the feature of head-to-head -head races with real world players in the map so if you drive up to someone and they're part of the opposite clan you can challenge them to a head-to-head -head and prove who really is the best on the streets now in terms of this feature it goes much more in depth than that unlocking you a bunch of special rewards and overall it was much more than the gimmick I actually expected it to be. So clans a very very good addition.
So whilst the lifestyle map location clans are all stars of the show, the main ones are of course, like any Test Drive Unlimited game, the cars. And they are very, very vast and interactive in what you can do. Again, as previously mentioned, whether it's the paint interior wheel type, you can very much customize these straight out the dealership to your personal taste. Taking this Aston Martin, for example, from a very, very bland supercar to very much a high-end supercar and really looking like a proper race-ready Aston Martin. Really, nothing is off limits. Not only that, we have some fantastic features which allow us to just play around with everything once we've got that car. When you're out in the streets, you can turn your headlights on and off, play around with your indicators, play around with the hazard lights, the spoiler if it can retract up and down, the roof of course can be taken up and down, windows, so on so forth. These are very, very much the key stars and key component of the show of Solar Crown. They're very much brimming with personality. So not only does that start in the dealership with customizing them, again, once you get them out on the road, you can very much play around with them as you do so wish. Anything like I mentioned from indicators, hazard lights, roof spoilers and more are all there to be interacted and played around with. It's a very, very cool feature that just makes these cars full of life and brimming with personality. In the end, the vast amount of car interaction really adds to the feeling that this car is truly your own and you can do whatever you want with it. It really adds to just making it feel like a very special vehicle, personal to you. And finally, for number five, this has to be the Frim system. Again, if you take a look at the top of the screen, you probably notice this little bar that ticks up depending on what I'm doing. And as you can see, it will take you through levels and give you a multiplier depending on how many different things you do whilst you're driving around. This is the Frim system, which is equipped to every single car you buy from the dealership in TDU Solar Crown. This basically rewards you for everything you do whilst free roam driving. And again, just gives you that more depth to just driving around the map and doing different things. Everything from high speed, clean driving, overtake 0 to 60s, drifting burnouts, it will all reward you with this Frim system, which you can cash in and bank. The more risk, the more reward. It's a fantastic system and I absolutely love it. So after smashing hours into this Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown demo, that is five key features I've absolutely loved while playing through it. Overall, of course, it's not perfect and it definitely needs a few things ironed out. Things like optimization did seem to be a big one for a lot of players. Sometimes the streets can feel a little less lively than you'd expect. But again, I'm sure these will all get fixed as people start giving feedback, both creators and players of the demo and playtests. So I'm pretty sure upon final release, it'll be much bigger and even better than what we've seen here in this small snippet during this demo. So whilst yes, it is 13 years down the line since the last iteration of this series, this certainly is shaping up in both look and feel to really be a proper entry into the Test Drive Unlimited universe. It is finally upon us, releasing in September of 2024. For me, this is probably my most anticipated racing game of this year, and hopefully it really does live up to expectations. There's a lot on the shoulders of this game, and do I think it will please absolutely everyone? Well, no, of course not. Will it be perfect? Probably not. But what is here is exciting, is refreshing, and honestly, I'm just glad to see that Test Drive Unlimited name finally show its face once again. If you did manage to try out the demo, please let me know what you thought down below. To everyone who's watched this video, a massive thank you to you all, as well as all of my channel members. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Again, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care, guys. Peace. Thank you.